So monthly close in one hour. This is the weekly. We still can go a little bit higher, but it doesn't look so good at the moment. Uh, last previous close on the weekly was quite bearish, consolidating, but in the indecision candle, but closing below the previous one. Now we are, we don't have any volume. We are here liquid, on the liquidation kind of mode, trying to prepare for a big move. So the month will close now. Let's see if it's today or in the next days. It will be soon. So monthly quite bearish, basically. Basically, we didn't close above the previous candle. We don't, so we need to close at least, come higher and close above this area to be more bullish above the 9.4, especially on the lower time frames and above 9.8 to try to push higher. So this is the situation. If we keep on coming down, we have the 21 and the 20 here, which is this candle as support, all the area. If we break below here, the big support, you know, we can come here or even lower, but level by level. So we all have this level here. As soon as we close, we might still go up to liquidate shorts, late shorts, and then maybe close the months, maybe here or here. Who knows? Let's see where we close. For now, looks quite bearish. We are, we are still above this small support here on this candle, but below the main areas of all these candles, so it's not good, doesn't look so good. So I think it's just trying to make a higher low, maybe to push higher from the 21 or the 20. And if we don't hold here to do this, I think we will break down. Anyway, level by level, so monthly, this is where we are. So we are rejecting this trend line here. Uh, and yeah, anyway, I will take out all the moving averages, all the trend lines, just a bit of candle action and support resistance. So weekly still in decision here, we have the 21. We hold the, the 12 and we are here stuck trying to see if we still push higher from the 12 on a daily basis. This is the 21 and the 20. So this is all the support on this area, of course, and it's aligned with the 20. We might test because we test the top, all this top many times and we, break, we never manage to go up. We might just test the bottom now and see if we have acceptance and some buys to try to push higher from this 21 here or the 20 here from the lower level of all this area here from these closes from these weeks, but who knows? Let's see. Daily, we just closed the daily. So we closed not so bad here. So we closed above the previous candle. And now let's see we do what we do if we still go above and try to liquidate some shorts, or if we manage to get to a top and we still come below here or even lower. Still looks like we want to push higher, at least to this moving average, the 21 is here, and as support and resistance we have this week, and the 9.6, 9.5, 9.6, all this top, it's a big resistance here on this area, on the 9.5, and even now on the 9.5, three and a half more or less, all these candles. So big resistance, I don't know if some volume will come to push, try to push higher and break all these shorts that are piling up here, or we just touch it a little bit, or we can just down. So four hours, trying to close above the 21, we are still in this range. We are getting some buys here, another buy here above, this one still kind of above we got some acceptance and now we are trying to see if we hold for the next candle to push higher here or even here or here to these candles to the close do the weeks and the closes here on the 9.6 who knows 
we have a big spike up or we, we just range here and then maybe push down again and a few more time on ranging. RSI is still pointing up. We came to the bottom. We need to come to the top. So I think we still come here to test all this area here on the 9.2 9.3 which is all this cluster of resistance. And let's see what we do. Two hours. Trying to close above the 21 to push higher. And the resistance is here on the moving average. This top, for sure, there's many stop losses around here. So we might just push higher, liquidate them, and then we have this small cluster here. And the top, one hour, we have, we are, keep, we are, we are trying to close above to try to push higher, but we had this week buy, buy, let's see if it holds, to try for another push. For sure many stop losses here, here, and also here, so we are just ranging. <coughs> and yeah, so still trying to close, it's 45, 50 minutes for the daily and the monthly close. Let's see, 15 minutes. Yeah, we got nice candle to try to push higher and close above to have some continuation from this bottom here on the 200 moving average and we are doing some higher lows compared with this area. One, two, three. And let's see. And then we can do another higher low here. Still trying to push higher and ranging. Okay, I think that's it. Still looking bearish, trying to hold liquidations and S&P went up. So S&P on the month, it's already above the previous month, week. It's trying to go up, doing higher lows here, so looking good to make another low and push higher to here, to that gap. Um, we hold the 21, so it was the buy on the 21 here, as we can see. Bitcoin didn't do this, we didn't touch the 21 on the weekly. And now we are already above the, the 21 on the daily rejecting the, the 20, but so maybe just trying to do another higher low here to come to this gap and then to that gap. Let's see if it's if we can do it. Indicators are pointing up, so let's see. We still can range now, the 21 is here, so we can still have, do like this. And nice volume by volume on the S&P. And still pointing up on the RSI, stochastic is still can still hold for a while on the top. And yeah, so gold up. Still, but still not managing to push higher, but still holding, so we can still have push it higher. Looking good. Support is here and here. All this area of support and trying to keep these levels around here. And that's it. All right.